have you seen i wanted to ask you about this um there no was comment. Some, no, a I'm photo kidding. a photo that came out mckenna grace put out a tiktok this past week oh yeah she, um was like hey here's like a bunch of photos from my year and yeah one one of them was like her as phoebe like look making a funny face in the camera but right one of them was her in the proton pack and in the flight suit, but without the wig on. And she was standing on top of a p- platform with part of a fire pole sticking out of it. Right. And there was like some sort of wood being used to like measure the diameter yeah. of the hole. I saw that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I saw this photo and my first inclination was seeing her standing on top of a platform that yeah. was circular with a fire pole sticking out of it was, oh my God, she's inside the Kenner firehouse. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <'Cause, laughs> well, wouldn't that this? be funny if the if in the new movie the to make it safer for the fire pole it had like a platform <laughs> they stood on and it spun them around? Yes. I would like that. Yes. I would this really is, like that. I was like sitting there going, please tell me that this is gonna become a canon thing that like the firehouse is gonna have a spiral pole now and it yeah. like just rotates down slowly. <laughs> like, yeah, that would be awesome. <laughs> like oh, some I weird did lift. see I did see those. Um, I know some, there was a couple of people saying like, Oh, she's crossing the picket line. Like, Hey, a lot of union experts out there. All of a sudden, <laughs> everyone needs to calm <laughs> down. She posted some pictures of her year just because her year was much better than yours. Just calm down. <laughs> My other favorite thing was people were like, why does that pack look so dumb? I'm like, that's clearly, first of all, it's a blurry photo. It's clearly like a stunt pack. Yeah. The girl just had back surgery right. like on her spine. <laughs> like it's like, hey, also her hair is like long and blonde. Like it's rehearsal. Like I, Jim, here's what I'm getting at. I don't think people know how movies are made. I don't I, think I, they do. I really sometimes. don't. <laughs> I think they think they just get there and they just they just, just start acting the movie out chronologically in order. I, I just, oh man, people are so peculiar. They are, but I have to say, I saw some similar comments about that. Um, what is she wearing on her back? And I was like, a proton pack that's a stunt pack. You, like, I am guarantee you that Bill Murray, when he came down on set, they weren't like, hey, Bill, we got the OG 51, 50 pounder for you. We know. Yeah. We, gave it a, we gave the kid who just had back surgery a stunt pack, but you, Bill, you're getting the real OG. That's it. You're going to yeah, be on the ground. I don't even think it day. was like, to me, I was like, <laughs> I don't even know if we would call it a stunt pack. It was just something. They probably cobbled together for like, you know, measuring and photography. Like right. it's just that's clearly what it was is they were doing like, what do we need? Like we need to measure the diameter of the hole for our right. actors to safely pass through while they're wearing proton packs. <laughs> like, so now ridiculous. listen, if they're putting on the packs before going down the pole, that's gonna be hilarious. Cause that seems like a really <laughs> bad idea. But I think part of it is what it is, is people are so um desperate for any because for anything because it's like the the nerd mind the nerd mind wants to like observe something and then yeah. like pick it apart and when it's like there's nothing to pick apart they're going to still figure out like right what's that pack what are they doing what is this and and then when they get done with that they're like uh, is she supposed to be posting this this is a bad look uh, i'm get, what are you going to do call <laughs> fran drescher and let her know i would like to report McKenna grace like Chill out. She's not starting a talk show back up on television without bringing in writers. <laughs> hey, by the way, Bill Maher's doing it, and I know he just doesn't care. Right. Um, but Drew Barrymore had some really bad advisors. Like, yeah, and then she backed <laughs> off of it. She's actually come out and said, like, oh, we're gonna postpone doing this. And you're like, Yeah, but then people are still mad. Like, try, course, I just went through this on I just went through this on yeah. Steve Harvey. <laughs> Guys, it's a joke. Or even more mad. Like, yeah. And if people haven't seen that, because we didn't uh, mention it, um, your appearance on Steve Harvey was, was hilarious. Um, if you haven't seen the show, you. Judge Steve Harvey has an episode in which uh, Craig and uh, Jay from Geek Dad Life have a dispute over real Ghostbusters toys. So uh, why didn't we talk about that at the beginning of this as part of the way we introduced you? I'm a terrible it's, host. It was a rule. It was a rule in the Ghostbusters community that nobody could cover it. No one could acknowledge that it happened. <laughs> Well, I did. I told people before. You did. Uh, no, it was fun. It was really cool. It was, uh, it's a fun, silly thing. Like, not like, yeah, you know, sometimes in life, you just gotta do something, have some fun and sue somebody over real Ghostbusters toy. <laughs> in, in TV court. Maybe that's, mom, you know, like 
my mom always tells the story about how she like waited outside at Toys R Us in the cold at like three in the morning while they were unloading the trucks so I could get a stay puff. Now listen, yeah. I don't know if that's a true story, but she tells it <laughs> like it is. So I'll just so Ghostbusters is in my blood. Hey, I'll believe that story is real because I have a real life story about how my dad once waited outside FAO Schwarz uh, on a on a Sunday morning. Uh, at the beginning at four o'clock in the morning to try and get me a copy of Super Mario Brothers two. And he was That's freezing. Awesome. He was freezing. He went and stood outside at the store at like seven in the morning once he could line up there to get inside. And then they didn't open the doors at nine when they were supposed to because Lewis Gossett Jr. was private shopping that morning. And um, my dad had to watch Lou shop as and he FAO does Schwartz through the windows. And my dad stood outside freezing. And so I think this is why my dad really hates Iron Eagle. He's just like, um, <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't Lewis Gossett Jr. also in Jaws 3? Yeah, he was. Yeah, he was. Um, so, well, he does conventions. So next time I see him, we're going to ask him about his private shopping. I love <laughs> If you ever go back, real quick, if you ever go back on YouTube and watch uh, these uh, videos of like parents lined up to buy Super Mario Brothers for their kid, yeah. it's that generational divide where like if you're a parent and like a parent of a young child in 1986, you did not understand video games at no. all. <laughs> and uh they're like oh why are you out here like, yeah my kid he likes this uh you know this game i don't even know what it is but you know i'm out here it's like just not even like being completely owned by their kids um we were watching the shining yesterday i don't know when the last time you saw that movie is but there's a part at the beginning where they're all taking a tour of the hotel and Danny, the kid, like breaks off and he's playing one of the arcade games. Yeah. And he comes back. And when he p- pops back in, Jack Nicholson goes, what's the matter? You done bombing the universe? And it's like, <laughs> that's somebody who doesn't understand what happens in a video game. <laughs> you know, <laughs> it's just a funny like you done bombing the universe. Like, I'm like oh, even thinking of that era of games. It would be like most right, of the right. games were stopping bombs that were coming into the planet. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> He's in the games. He's bombing the universe again. I don't know. <laughs> but anyways, it's my really bad Jack Nichols. No, I appreciate it. It's good. I don't know how we got there from, from Phoebe Spangler on a rotating spiraling post, but, um, you know, <laughs> Dude, just got a it's podcast in one Oh one. It is. It's, it's, we're, it's just how it works. It's a conversation every week. Um, but I, I am excited about the new movie coming out and I saw those images and thought, you know, Okay, I haven't seen anything in a while other than um, that behind the scenes kind of stuff. There has been this peak of raise a cult video, raise a cult. I just don't know why I said it was a video store. It's not. That would be weird. Raise a cult <laughs> raise video. A cult video. Yeah, it's yeah. a new thing. Um, raise a cult. You know, sort of showed up in this VR game um, in the last week that they were doing like the, the interview, promo for that. right? Yeah, yeah. So it was yeah. like in the background. So it's exciting. There's going to be really some really cool stuff, but. Um, I did wonder. I did wonder if you saw the same thing I saw when I saw the platform because I was like, "That <laughs> looks like a thing." I have. Um, I've seen that character on a platform before, so or at least people just like him. 